fighting isn't just about who has the biggest punch. You've got to deal with all the emotions, the trash talk, the this, the that, how your energy levels are. It's just a dimension of how to win the fight and if you can control your nerves in this big arena, it makes a massive difference in your performance. As much as you look at us physically, you know how important the mental side of sport is. I've shut down people in an arena before when I've walked to the ring and I've gone into Mike Tyson mode when you walk in like a brick and then you become stiff. But what I've learned about myself is that when I embrace it, when I'm smiling, touching people, I'm appreciating that support, I feel good. It's probably when I get hit with a jab, like when someone throws a bit of petrol on the fire, that I flare up a bit. Your body is meant to relax and go through things easily. It's probably not until you get hit that you're like, all right, cool. You start charging up a bit. When you get hit or when someone tries to faint and hits you with a cheeky right hand, you then spark up a bit and show what you're really about. It's a pride thing. Even though the hashtag is stay humble, you have to show you're the dominant man in the ring. Those are the words of Anthony Joshua talking about his upcoming fight against Vladimir Klitschko and the mental side of the sport. He's talked there about freezing up in a fight when he goes into Mike Tyson mode and tries to get too intense mentally. Things don't go so well. But when he relaxes and enjoys the moment and he's high-fiving people in the crowd and just embracing everything, he feels better. But this Klitschko fight right here is on another level in terms of publicity and pressure. You know, I've seen people like Tony Bellew and others in the build-up to this fight saying that most of the pressure is actually on Vladimir. I couldn't disagree more. I think most of the pressure is on Anthony Joshua. He's going to feel the pressure on his shoulders, I think, far more than Vladimir will. Vladimir is the underdog in this fight, the betting underdog. Most of the people in this stadium at Wembley will be expecting Joshua to win the fight. Most of the country watching on television are expecting Joshua to win the fight. Vladimir is in an unusual position right now of being an underdog, the guy who's expected to lose. So, and I've heard Vladimir say this, that all the pressure's on Joshua, and I agree with him. It's going to be very interesting to see how Joshua copes with the pressure. If he can cope with the pressure well and come out with a decisive victory, then my view of Anthony Joshua will be that he is special. Because it's not just about the opponent, it's about being able to deal with the situation mentally. And to be able to fight in front of 90,000 people and come out with a decisive victory against such an experienced, talented champion or former champion as Vladimir Klitschko, someone with so much more experience, someone who has great techniques, so on and so forth. To be able to do that in that type of situation would be extremely impressive. Uh, as I say, not just the physical aspect, but the mental aspect. So, yeah, let me know what you think about Anthony Joshua's comments here, people, as far as the mental aspect of boxing. This, to me, will be one of the most vital and crucial elements of Saturday night's fight. Can Anthony Joshua hold it together mentally in such a high-pressure situation? You let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's happening. I'm out.